over an hour, voters are going to head to the polls in Wisconsin where education is expected to take center stage. School board candidates are on the ballot in nearly every single district today, and Republicans have invested more than $70,000 in the candidates, looking to make sure that parents' voices are heard. My next guest has personally endorsed dozens of these school board candidates, former Wisconsin lieutenant governor, mother of two girls, and current gubernatorial candidate Rebecca Clayfish joins us now. Good morning to you. Good morning, Ainsley. Good How morning. are you this election day? I'm doing day? well, doing well. Today's a, a big day for you guys in Wisconsin. Why is education taking center stage? It is because parents are furious. They are seeing how these out of touch leftists and school board members who have allied themselves with the far fringes of the Democrat Party have taken over at school districts. You know, Wisconsin is the state that has a legislator who literally said that if parents want to say in their kids' education, they should homeschool or they should pay private school tuition. Mm. Parents are fed up and we're taking back control. We saw that the parents were heard in Virginia. Are the parents being heard there in Wisconsin? Well, they will be by about 9, 10 o'clock tonight, <laughs> I believe, Ainsley, because I have endorsed in more than 100 races today. It is time Republicans stop just standing on the sidelines and we get involved in these local races. We need to take back control from the very most local offices, school board, town council, county board, all the way up through the governorship of the state of Wisconsin. That's why I'm running for governor and I have a lot of friends across the state running for local office today, so I urge everyone to get out and vote. These races are so important and so accountable to the people. What about the money being spent? We're being told, I was reading an article, Milwaukee Journal Sentinel, saying that Republicans have invested 70,000 in school board candidates. Democrats invested less than 10,000. Why is that? Well, because we believe we need to take back control, and now is our moment to do it. Democrats have done this for years, Ainsley, and it's only now that Republicans are getting involved and taking back control at the local level that they're crying about it. You know what? Call the ambulance because they have been trying to take back our school boards, town councils, and our county boards for decades, and we've noticed the incursion they have made. There was no better realization during COVID to help parents wake up than seeing our kids in masks, seeing these two years of learning loss, and now an epidemic of anxiety and depression among our kids. It's time for this to stop, and it's time for us to take back control. So we're doing it. The liberal governor there, Tony Evers, he vetoed a school choice expansion. He vetoed a school transparency bill. How do you feel about CRT and school choice and transparency? Ainsley, when I'm governor, we're going to ban the teaching of critical race theory in Wisconsin schools because we're essentially banning the teaching of hate. We will have full transparency in curriculum. You shouldn't have to go to school board meetings or ply teachers for their curriculum. We need that all up online so parents know right away. It was the same day he vetoed five pro-life bills that he also vetoed education transparency in our state. And yet, he calls himself the educator governor, which is comical because Wisconsin, which is the birthplace of school choice, is something that we should be celebrating. Opportunities for parents to choose the best place for our kids. And as governor, I'm going to make sure that we're going to have universal school choice. Education dollars actually following a child's education, not buildings and bureaucrats. Rebecca Clayfish, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, Ainsley. You're welcome. The next hour of Fox and Friends starts right now.